Hi everybody, this is Lucas from Tech Power Math, and what I want to show you today is a quick trick I've been using to help with a new AP statistics class that I've been teaching at my high school. Uh, it turns out that the new textbook we're using comes with some great supplemental spreadsheet resources that follow right along with the textbook examples and the classroom exercises that we teach the kids in a variety of formats such as Microsoft Excel, Minitab, and a variety of other um, data analysis formats. But unfortunately, they don't come in TI Inspire format. So what I've been doing to get around that is transferring the files into TI Inspire format by simply using copy and paste. And it is just as simple as copy and paste. So I've set up an example here, a very simple spreadsheet that I've made up. And you'll see that I've created uh, some data. I've created a, a company name, some made up company names, uh, CEO names, salaries of those CEOs. And then what I've done is I've re-expressed the data uh, using logs, uh, logarithm base 10. So that's gonna be kind of important in just a second because you'll notice that I've defined those relatively. So all the other data uh, here is absolute, but if you look up above here, you'll see that um, this column, the, the D column, is defined in terms of the C column. I've, I've taken the log of everything in the C column. So how do I transfer this into the TI Inspire? Well, it's quite simple. I simply highlight what it is that I'd like to copy. So I'm going to highlight that data, and then I'm going to copy it, and I'm just going to use Control-C. And then I'm going to go over to my TI Inspire software and open up a spreadsheet. And at this point, I will simply paste with Control V. And you'll see that all of that data pops right in there. Uh, the column titles aren't there, but of course, it's easy enough to just type those right back in and have all of your, your data titles there. And you will need those, of course, if you're going to analyze. At least it makes it a lot easier when you go into the data and analysis tools if you've named your columns. But the one little trick that's uh, kind of interesting is you'll notice that when I get to that column that was previously defined relative to column C, it is no longer defined relatively. So it has now been defined absolutely. So I've lost that ability. If the C column changes, um, it's no longer to change the value in column D. So that is one um, one disadvantage of using this method is I do lose my formatting when I copy and paste the data in. But I have tested this out also on Google Docs, and if you use the Google spreadsheet format from, um, from Google Drive, it is also possible to copy and paste from there. But again, similarly, you do lose the formatting when you define cells relatively. So that's all for now. Hope that this quick trick helps you out in statistics classes of your own. Uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time at Tech Powered Math.